Hey everyone, today I'm excited to guide you through the process installing the Windows 10 or 11 using a bootable USB that I demonstrated in my previous video. First, we need to tell the computer to boot from the USB drive. Most computers display a quick message during startup showing which key to press to enter BIOS, usually F2, Delete, or Escape. For Lenovo like this, it's F2. Once in BIOS, find the boot menu and select the option for USB drive. These might label USB drive or something similar. Make sure it's enable. This Lenovo Z50, it has a dedicated button that brings up the boot options menu. From here, I can select the option to boot from the USB device. The startup page of a language, time and currency. You can customize these for now or leave them as default and change it later. I'll leave them and press next. Click install now. You can enter a product key here if you have one. I'll skip that for now. Choose your desert Windows version. For example, I'll choose my Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSC and then click accept. The license terms and choose customs install Windows only. This allows me to format and delete all existing partitions to start fresh. Well, I will create two partitions here, but if you want to create more, you could do so. Uh, for drive C, I'll allocate uh, 450,000 megabyte uh, for the operating system. You can give more you want. And then for drive D, the remain space will be for the personal files. Important. Don't forget to create the new partition for drive D from an allocated space because if you do not create a new one, then it will leave, you can't see a D drive in the uh, window install. Windows will automatically create some system partitions there as you can see. Now sit back and let the system install the window. This might take a while. Once the system restarts and prompts you to select a region, choose your preferred one. I'll go with the United States. Next, select your keyboard layout. I'll choose US and skip adding a second keyboard layout. Network connection. We can skip for now and add a Wi-Fi letter. So I'll select I don't have internet. Create your username and login password. I'll use SK and leave the password field blank. I'll leave the privacy settings as they are and click accept. Windows will now take a few minutes to get ready. I'll speed up this part. And great! Windows is installed. Here's a quick demo. Press Windows E on the keyboard to open the quick access folder. You'll see the two partitions we created earlier, C and D drive there. Let's connect to the network. I'll connect to my home Wi-Fi network. Put the password there. Optional, if you want to activate Windows, then search for activation uh, settings here to find this option and uh, entering a product key that you bought or somewhere else that worked. Set your time zone and language through the settings menu. Remember, if you haven't activated Windows, you'll see a notification and have limited customization options. But for now, we have successfully installed the window using a bootable uh, USB. In the next video, we will explore the installing essential software. Thank you for watching.